Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today is the 27th Sunday in ordinary time. In the first reading, the prophet Isaiah presents us with a vivid image of vineyard. God, the divine wine grower, takes great care to prepare the vineyard, meticulously clearing the stones, planting choice wines, building a watchtower, and digging a wine press. This meticulous preparation symbolizes God's providence in establishing Israel as his chosen people. However, despite God's loving care, the vineyard produces wild grapes instead of the expected good fruit. These wild grapes represent Israel's unfaithfulness, disobedience, and injustice. In this passage, we witness God's lamentation over his people's failure to live up to their covenant relationship with him. Isaiah's message serves as a warning and an invitation. It warns us against complacency and the danger of taking God's blessings for granted. It reminds us that God expects us to bear fruit in our lives, fruits of righteousness, justice and love. When we fail in this record, we disappoint the one who has lovingly tended to us. In the second reading, St. Paul writes to the Philippines, encouraging them to maintain a mindset of humility and peace. He emphasizes the importance of prayer and gratitude as ways to combat anxiety and find God's peace. Paul's words remind us that a humble and prayerful disposition allows us to experience God's presence and peace even in challenging circumstances. Paul goes on to exhort the Philippians to dwell on whatever is true, noble, just, pure, and of good report. This advice encourages us to focus on positive and virtuous thoughts, fostering a mindset that is in line with Christ's teachings. By imitating the humility of Christ, who emptied himself for our sake we can find unity and harmony within our communities today's gospel reading presents us with a parable of the vineyard a story that jesus used to teach us important lessons about our relationship with god and how we are called to respond to his love and mercy in this parable we see a landowner who represents god and he plants a vineyard equipping it with everything needed for success he enters the vineyard to tenants and goes away expecting them to care for it and produce fruit in due season however when the time comes for the harvest the tenants mistreat the servants sent by the landowner and even clean kill the landowner's sons This parable serves as a reminder of God's boundless love and patience toward us. God has created this world and entrusted it to us. Just like the landowner who established the vineyard, he has given us everything we need for our spiritual growth and happiness. We are the tenants in this world and God expects us to cultivate the vineyard of our lives. bearing fruit through the acts of love and kindness and faithfulness but the parable also highlights the human tendency to forget that everything we have is a gift from god instead of recognizing god's ownership and being grateful we can sometimes become possessive and selfish like the wicked tenants in the parable They saw themselves as owners rather than stewards. They mistreated the servants and even killed the landowner's son. In our lives, we may sometimes forget our role as stewards and act as if we are the masters of our own destiny. We may become selfish, neglecting our responsibilities to God and our fellow human beings. We may even reject the message of God's love, symbolized by the servant sent by the landowner, or reject his son, Jesus Christ. But let us remember that God's love and mercy are boundless. 
continues to send messengers into our lives urging us to repent and return to him he offers us the chance to turn away from our selfish ways and cultivate the fruits of love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control the parable also reminds us of the consequences of our choices the tenants faced severe consequences for their actions just as we will be held accountable for our how we have lived our lives if we respond to god's love with faithfulness and gratitude we will inherit the kingdom of god but if we persist in selfishness and rejection we risk losing the opportunity for eternal life as we reflect on these parable let us examine our hearts and our lives are we cultivating the vineyard of our lives in a way that pleases god are we recognizing his ownership and responding with gratitude and faithfulness are we open to the messengers of god's love especially his son jesus christ let us pray for the grace to be good and faithful stewards of all that god has entrusted to us may we bear fruit in abundance sharing god's love and mercy with all those we encounter and may we always remain open to the call of jesus who is the cornerstone of our faith and the source of our salvation